God is the best scientific explanation for the cause of the universe. A Catholic priest came up with the Big Bang Theory, Father George Lemaitre, and he said that space, time, and matter, that's what we call the universe, all of space, time, and matter, had an absolute beginning in time. Space-time geometry later confirmed this, that any universe that has a, an expansion rate greater than zero must have had an absolute beginning point. So now I want you to think about this logically. When we say a beginning of space, time, and matter, that's everything, okay? So what existed before everything? Something had, something had to exist other than space, time, and matter. Things don't just pop into being, right? We don't just look around at the world and all of a sudden, poof, this pops into being, and poof, this unexpectedly pops into being. Something must put things into, be, into being. So think about it. There's an absolute beginning of space, time, and matter. We know from space, time, geometry, we know from the Big Bang Theory, what existed before space, time, and matter. And what we find is God is the best explanation because the cause of the universe has to be outside of space, time, and matter. It has to be external to space, time, and matter. And God is outside of time. He's eternal. God's outside of space. And God is outside of matter. He's not material. He's spiritual. So you can't look to you can't look to factors or entities within the universe for the cause of the universe. You can't say energy caused the universe. You can't say gravity. You can't say black holes. You can't say an alien because anything that we're anything that you're talking about there is something that's within the universe. Whatever caused the universe had to necessarily be external to the universe. So you're looking at an entity that is outside of space, outside of matter, and extremely powerful to bring everything into existence. That is actually the definition of God. He's spiritual, he's eternal, he's all-powerful, and he's not within the universe. He's outside of the universe. Anything that begins to exist, in this case the universe, anything that begins to exist had to have a cause. Now you can't flip that around and say, well then what caused God? Because the definition of God is he is the uncaused cause. You can't say, um, oh my friend's a bachelor, my friend's a bachelor, and then you ask, well, what's what's your friend's, what's, what's his wife's name? He's a bachelor, so he's not married. So a bachelor doesn't have a wife. You can't say, um, well, do you know a, a square, do you know of a square that has only three sides? It's a logical contradiction. So God's definition is the uncaused cause. God did not come into being. God is being itself. So there's no logical contradiction in saying God. But there is a logical contradiction when you talk to your atheist friends, your agnostic friends who said, well, the universe just came into being. No, nothing comes into being out of nothing. If there's nothing, if there's no space, time, and matter, space, time, and matter cannot pop into being. The cause has to be outside of space, time, and matter. That's science, that's philosophy, and that's basic logic. God is the best scientific explanation for the cause of the universe. God bless you. God bless your families.